Thank you for watching. This is my budget build and I'm trying to explore every avenue. Even, I don't care if I have to buy the parts over again. It's the point of sending the message out to the LT1 guys, what works, what doesn't work. And I'm trying to piece together in this day and age, what works, what doesn't work. And these, this is kind of one of the things that do work. Welcome back to the channel. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I'm a cheap mofo when it comes to a lot of stuff, and I've been trying to piece together parts for this LT1 and make it live and work. And it took me a while to figure out some parts and pieces. I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm still missing some parts that I need to complete the valve train on this motor, but this is what I've gotten so far, and this is what I picked out, and I hope to help somebody. All right. Let's start with, oh, I'm gonna review the rock arms right now and give you a thing, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I bought and then I'm gonna slowly go into everything over time in the next couple of videos, but I just wanted to give you a little teaser of what I got. Upgrading to a 7 16 stud over the 3 8 Look at the massive difference on that. This is why they always recommend going to a 7 16 stud. Look at that. Factory, aftermarket. Contacted Speedmaster. Prices you can't. They had some Cyber Monday special thing for this whole the Black Friday stuff, blah, blah, blah. Ordered a whole bunch of stuff and it was so cheap. I'll list it below what I paid for it, what part numbers, all that kind of good stuff. But this I think is going to work and we're going to mock up some stuff real quick just to give you, you know, uh, a kind of brief overview. And then later videos will get into more detail. So I don't want to bore you too much. Everybody says to get the comp version of these guide plates. Speedmaster sells them for so much cheaper and they work. And worst case scenario, you can modify these, you know, inside here that to make them come out or go out or whatever you want to do easier. And I'll show you, stick with me in the video and I'll show you a quick thing of how these bolt up to the engine and just a quick mock up to see if everything working out correctly. Did their harden? from Molly push rods. We'll get into specs and what they are and how they fit, but for the price, you cannot beat it. And again, I'll go into more detail. So just, this is a quick overview of what I got. I really wanted to talk about the rock rumps at first and that's the main port part of this thing. Also, <laughs> everybody knows these, these cheap head studs. People say don't buy them, they break. I already tested them. Few things, um, most likely we're not gonna use these, but we're gonna try to use them and we're gonna, you know, see if they work or not. But they were cheap enough to buy like 48 bucks, 38 bucks, whatever the hell it was. But the main star of the show are these 1.6 steel, stainless steel rockers. And man, wow, I gotta say, since we're switching over, getting rid of the self-aligning rock arms because we're using obviously this with hardened push rods we're upgrading the studs again so i was able to go with a 1.6 rocker and right off the bat wow super cheap they had a promotional sale I bought them i think i got everything here for 200 bucks i mean <laughs> that's crazy There's one final piece of the puzzle that's coming. I'm not gonna reveal that until I get the, the part in and that's gonna be, that's the most expensive part I think of the group but that's where you need to put your money. But this, oversized trunnion bearing, has a nice cup in there 
and they are silky smooth. I mean like really good quality. I'm, I'm shocked. I thought, because there's, I, bu I bought some other rock rums in the past. They were just junk. They were just, they, they weren't machine right. But I guess they find the right Chinese manufacturer to do this. Comes with really good nuts. Fit in there right. And then we're going to show you some of the problems that I had with this in the future and what to do to overcome it and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, I mean, right out of the box. Super nice. The stainless steel ones are going to be a little heavier than your aluminum ones, but they're not going to break. They hold up to a ton of spring pressure. Get that. And they have the nice arc to get a, a bigger valve spring in there. Another hint. But yeah, look at that. Super nice. Every single one of them. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work out well. I mean, if not, you didn't spend much money on them, whatever it is, but seems like a really high quality piece. Every single one I pull out, the bearings are fine. There's no goo anywhere. There's no weirdness. Every roller moves around. Every trunnion bearing moves around. Really good. Really nice finish on them. Doesn't look like a some kid stamped them out in a Chinese factory, which they probably did, but it just really good quality. Super nice. I mean, for the price, you can't buy stamped steel rock rumps for this from like Comp or anybody else like that. All right, so let's go over to the mock-up motor and show you this real quick installed. This is just a mock-up of a test example of all the parts here. Again, we can move the rock arms around for the setup. We haven't tightened anything down, but I want to show you how well these cheap guide plates work. I mean, I think they were $11 or something crazy like that. Look at that. You got plenty of room to move stuff around to set up the valve train. Okay, I have two different size push rods in there. I bought the push rods that I think are gonna fit. That's what we'll find out in the end once we put the head gasket on, get everything settled, but I just is just a test fit or like a test, like a pre-fit, just to see if everything kind of plays nice together. But then we also have an adjustable push rod that we can go ahead and measure everything just to be on the safe side. So. Let me get you in closer. And I'm amazed of how well they fit already, right out of the box. This one, a little bit over the nose that I want it to be. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna come in. It's coming out a little bit tighter out a little bit, but you can remember the head gasket's not on here. See it. So you got that X amount of inches, thousands of an inch that the head's going to come up. So that's what I was counting on when I did my calculations. This is what the stock push rod and it's perfect. So we'll get more into detail about this, how to do this and how to set up. And the one biggest, uh, boo boo that I did that I can see right now is that which is an easy fix. <laughs> now I created another problem. So stock rock rooms, stock rocker valve covers, the rock, I mean the valve covers just don't work. That's an easy fix. That's so, but for the price of everything, the quality is just seems like it's there right now. And then once we get into finishing this, which is, this is almost 80% done. Just got to add the oil pan, oil pump, and a few little things. Then we can pop the heads on here. And we're missing a few parts on the heads too that we need. And then we got to clean them up and everything. But yeah, this is really an option here. And this is initial review. And it really seems like this is the way to go. Thank you for watching. This is my budget build. And I'm trying to explore every avenue, even... I don't care if I have to buy the parts over again. It's the point of sending the message out to the LT1 guys 
what works, what doesn't work. And I'm trying to piece together in this day and age what works, what doesn't work. And these, this is kind of one of the things that do work. And you're going to see that I'm going to come across things that don't work and I'm going to explain it. I'm going to try to work around. And if not, then you just got to buy the part and, and pay the money for it. But I'm a cheap bastard and I try everything to skate the system on this. So hope you enjoy this. Stick around. I'll get more technical with this if you guys want. Um, yeah, stick around.